We welcome you to WMAR 2 News at 6. Thanks for watching and streaming. I'm Jamie Costello. And I'm Kelly Swoop. Detectives in North Baltimore are investigating and after 18 year old woman was shot to death and it happened right in front of her friends. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner went back to the block where it happened and she brings us the chilling details of how friends say it unfolded. Friends of that young lady told me she was a sweet girl and didn't deserve to die this way, but those moments they witnessed leading up to her death will forever be ingrained in their minds. They put a pillow over her head and they shot her twice. It's the horrifying moment that claimed the life of an 18 year old young lady. Yeah, I was shaking. It happened near Tunbridge and York Road just after one in the morning on Tuesday. Police say when they got there, they pronounced that young woman dead after being shot in the head. I was right next to her. I was like probably like maybe a foot, not even a foot probably. Was, and uh, that's when I heard two shots. Friends who witnessed that shooting didn't want to be identified, but said they were inside the house when several men dressed in all black wearing masks forced their way inside the back door and held them up at gunpoint. That's when they held me, held me to the ground, started taping me up. And right after that, Everything just went black to me. There was probably like five. I didn't see faces or anything. He said the thieves asked everyone to give up their cell phones, and the 18-year-old said she didn't have one. But when they found it, they shot her. I didn't look. I, I just heard it. I was looking down because I knew they were going to do something. They say after the thieves left, they were able to get out and call police. We waited for like probably like five minutes. So we were still taped up to the ground, uh, taped up. Then we, I got up, seen her not breathe. Detectives are now investigating this homicide while the people who witnessed it were left mortified after watching their friend die. She was a good friend. I didn't know her for that long, so I just, she felt like a sister. It's scary. Like, this city is not safe. There are still lots of unanswered questions concerning what happened here, but police are still investigating. If you have any information concerning what happened in this shooting, you are urged to contact Metro Crime Stoppers. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.